Aloha. So I'm making this video the same as my last video. Um, I'm still in the cart waiting at Walmart. It's really hot in here. But I thought I'd make another video because she's in there doing her, picking out her frames for her prescription for her eyeglasses. I think that's daughter. So I'm sitting here in the car at Walmart. Anyways, I got the windows up. Well, I got one down a crack here because otherwise it's really hot and I don't want to run the car. Anyways, I already made a video um, that will be posted before this one. But um, there were some other things I wanted to read, but otherwise I would have made the video way too long. So, like, well into 25, 30 minutes. And, yeah, so I wanted to continue on because there were a couple other things. And there's another series I want to do, but not today. Because um, it's got three, and I'm reading from Rick Longva's Daily Thoughts from Scripture... And there's three parts to that. Oh, you know what? But I'm just going to read this part. That's a video for another day. Because um, I don't think I'll have time before she comes out. So the first one is... I'm reading from Rick Longva's devotional. And uh, it's called, You Can't Stay. When Paul first realized the truth, that Jesus was in fact the risen Savior... He never went back to religion that he once followed. Nope. Even though the religion he once followed professed God as their God, Paul immediately saw that what he once believed about God and his son was in fact false. There were elements of truth in the teachings, and there were some very good teachers, Gal Gamaliel uh, being one of them, who Paul, as Saul, studied I, I do believe. Is that who he studied? Yeah, it was. Uh, yet, what was taught and what was believed did not line up to what Paul was slowly coming to realize through the Christ who was teaching him. <laughs> I'd say. Nor neither did I accept it from a man, nor was I taught it, but it came through a revelation of Jesus Christ. Galatians chapter 1, verse 12. Paul couldn't go back and have fellowship with those he, those he once fellowshiped with. Not after he saw the truth. He had only one thing to do, move on. I understand that. It's like Christianity. You can't go back. Not that I can't talk to people, but I can't go, I could go sit in a church. Can any of you? I know some believers do, and I'm like, I, I couldn't sit there for five minutes to listen to them start lying about stuff, like the, the, the doctrines. I, 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 I would stand up and go, no, 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 no. <laughs> Anyways, it's just me, my husband, Paul. It's like, I can't, I can't do it. It's lies. They don't realize. I know because I was in it. But I, anyways. From that moment, Paul became an enemy to the ones he once fellowshiped with. Oh. How, right? Us too. They could not accept his new truth. Instead of fellowship with him, they persecuted him. Here are some of the things that Paul endured by their hands. In weariness more exceedingly, in jails more exceedingly, in blows inordinately, in deaths, of, in deaths often. By Jews, five times I got forty, save one. Thrice am I flogged with rods, once am I stoned. Second Corinthians chapter 11, 23, 25. You got beaten a lot. Many in our day would have continued fellowshipping with the organization they once believed held the truth rather than feel the pressure of losing a friend or two or not having the kind of fellowship that goes on amongst each other. Well, there are many that still have gone through that. I'm glad. I'm and Before I continue reading, I'm glad that Paul and I never um, got along at church. Even our last church that we were going to for a couple of years, uh, actually about five years before um, God dragged our asses out, um, they were bad people and we got along with them. We lost everybody. They told us at the last church we went to here in Guelph, um, the one senior pastor wasn't the one that married us. That's who the original pastor we came to. But another one came, they joined forces with another small church and made it to make a bigger church. And that guy told people not to even um, email us. I saw late one of the ladies in the grocery store, um, like six months later, she wouldn't even look at me. She turned away. I said hello to her, and she just looked at me. They were told to not even communicate with us, not even email, don't even speak to us on the street, that we were dangerous and a serious error. Wow. 
That was in 2008. I didn't even know the evangel yet. I didn't even know the salvation of all at that point. Anyways, that's part of my testimony. I got a 50-part testimony. Anyways, I'm going to keep reading here. So many in our, I said many in our day would have continued fellowshipping, right? That's where I left off. But not Paul. Once he saw the truth, he couldn't go backwards. Well, that's me too, and that's my husband. He did go back, but only to tell them of the truth concerning Christ. But for the most part, he received the welcome of the rod or the whip once he was dragged out of the city and stoned. Even at the end of his days, while in a Roman prison awaiting execution, he tells us, at my first defense, no one came along with me, but all forsook me. 2 Timothy chapter 4, 16, verse 16. Even that did not stop Paul. He continued on the path alone toward the higher calling, because Paul knew what many have yet to learn. The Lord will be rescuing me from every wicked work and will be saving me for his celestial kingdom to whom be glory for the eons of the eons. Amen. 2 Timothy 4.18 Many believe that in theory, but not in practice. I know and knew a few men and women who have come to see the truth from the scriptures and have left their once comfortable places of worship only to find themselves alone as far as human fellowship. But more invigorated in the Lord as they are being shown the truths that were once hidden from them, the fellowship they ha once had was only a surface relationship with the Lord. One of the words, one of words and deeds. Now they say their fellowship with him is so intimate. And yes, it is. That at times they have felt he was sitting right beside them as they searched the scriptures seeking for more revelation. Much like Paul said, yet the Lord stood beside me and he invigorates me. Second Timothy 4.17 if the Lord has revealed himself to you in a way that is causing you to question what you once believed and are being taught, move on. You can't stay where you are any lo now lo any longer. Your spirit will be quenched. 2 Thessalonians 5.19 You have to move on in order to grow in him. And with that, my daughter's back. Amen and amen to that. Talk to you all soon. Greet with all the holy kiss and see you all soon.